Alrighty, hello everyone, it is your boy. <laughs> okay, that's a terrible intro. But, uh, what's up guys, it's Instant. Um, I'm... Oh boy. <laughs> Today's video is gonna be a rough one, because... We're gonna be replying to this... Human being. <laughs> um, I watched part of this video already. Um, I was gonna respond to another video. But I was checking up on Gamertron, and, uh seeing if he said any more dumb shit and from what I can tell he hasn't so I might visit his channel again who knows um, but if you guys have channels that you guys want me to reply to well, let me know um, but we're gonna be replying to this video right here called addressing game theory's biggest problem <clears throat> now you guys will hear his reason that he like one of his biggest reasons or what he thinks the uh, biggest problem that game theory has and it is it's not the truth <laughs> like the biggest problem with game theory which I'll talk about in a little bit and by the way I'm not gonna go through the 20 minute video and react to it all I will go through part of it kind of put in the parts that kind of actually have substance and um, once we get to the part where he's kind of describing why he thinks what he thinks I'll kind of you know butt in when I have a point to make and stuff like that so without further ado let's uh, Oh god, let's get into this masterpiece. Very rarely am I afraid to hit publish on a video. Sure, there are theories that I know are going to end up being controversial, but at the end of the day, they're all just meant for fun. There are a few out there that are about actual real topics that matter. The stuff about how loot boxes and mobile games hijack your brain, but overall, 95% of the time, my theories are never meant to be taken seriously. Just to get you to think about your favorite games and movies critically. Alright, now, that, I don't know how to feel about it, because that could be like, I don't know, for me personally, I mean, I might be a bit cynical, but that, almost to me personally, sounds like the excuse that CinemaSins gave a while back, which by the way, I'm going to uh, want to talk about them someday, but, um... More CinemaSins a while ago said, oh, you know, we're just satire. We're not actually supposed to be film critics. <laughs> it's one thing to be satire, but when what you're saying is... I don't know, my issue with CinemaSins, which I'll make a video on that someday soon, is when they say, oh, it's just, you know, satire, you can be just satire, and that's fine. But don't sit here and claim that you're just a satire channel when you're like, oh yeah, I want to be taken seriously and I want to really criticize movies. It's like, no, you don't get to do both. You don't get to say that all your videos are satire and then say, oh, but take this one seriously. Take this point seriously. No. You can't have your cake and fucking fuck the cake too. You can't go American cake on this bitch. And it's a very similar thing with Matt Pat here. I've been watching him for fucking years now. And... I honestly don't think that the biggest issue lies in people, you know, taking his theories too seriously or anything like that. I think the biggest issue is, which again, I'll get into it later and kind of go in depth about, I personally think that the biggest issue isn't the fact that people take your videos seriously, Matt Pat, and if, I doubt he'll see this, but if you do, I'm not making this video to hate on you, man. I'm just trying to give you some criticism because your channel went from amazing to it's flipped and flopped in quality lately, and you you can do so much better, and I know that. And but I think there's a lot of stuff you need to work on to be able to kind of get back to that good quality. And I know coming from a 120 sub channel, oh god. But I've been watching YouTube since fucking 2000, I think six or seven, and I've been on YouTube and on this channel and another channel for almost five years. So I've been kind of doing YouTube in some capacity for five years, and I've been watching for years, for over ten years, so I know, I can tell quality content when I see it, and Matt has put out some good quality fucking content, but Matt, your biggest problem, is, one of their biggest problems, there's two big ones, one of them is responding to criticism, and that's a problem, because if you can't respond to criticism, and you have, let's see, 11 million, Jesus, 11 million subs, there's a problem there. 
you can't be distant from criticism just because people are saying words you don't like or because people are criticizing you. Criticism is good. Yes, blind hate and all that bullshit is, is dumb. There's no point. But you need to be able to accept negative criticism and positive criticism, not just, oh, hey, good video, and then you ignore or call the other stuff hate. And don't... If you respond to videos like this, don't respond to it like crying or acting all emotional. Just don't. It just makes you look like you let... It makes you look like you're trying to garner sympathy because people are criticizing you. Or through some different perspective. At the end of the day, does it really matter? If Mario's a sociopath, or if Link is dead, or that I nail who Purple Guy's true identity is finally after like 15 attempts, my philosophy has always been that it doesn't. That it's more about listening to the evidence and hearing a good story, enabling you to play the original Super Mario Brothers with the knowledge that, canonically speaking, all those blocks that you're rewarded for hitting were indeed members of the Mushroom Kingdom. And man! You shouldn't go around breaking them all willy-nilly if you truly are the hero of the game. I know some people get really mad about that philosophy. And so I'd like to remind you that this is a show that once calculated the length of Luigi's hoo-ha. Don't get me wrong. I take my work and my research in all of these episodes really seriously. But at the end of the day, it's all meant for entertainment, for fun with a little dose of education on the side. That's why I honestly started making these sorts of couch videos. These are the ones that are just a little bit more personal and a little bit more important, quite frankly. And today, I'm legitimately nervous to publish this video because today it's talking about stuff in the real world. Real stuff that really matters and that I take really seriously. Now okay. You guys will see the point that he makes in a minute, but... I have so much to fucking say. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> this is why I don't do response videos, because I just, I don't write scripts. I might write a script for the next video, kind of see how that goes. Um, who knows? We'll just see. But, um, back to the topic of MatPat. Again, I agree with him. I, that's why I started watching his channel, is because it was entertaining, and it made me think of, you know, games in a different light, or kind of think of different ways to kind of look at a situation not just in gaming but in general and that's why i've stuck with the channel because there's so much potential here with this channel to do amazing things and he's done some pretty great things with this channel and i do want to thank you for that if you do end up watching this matt but it's again it's part of youtube is that you need to separate the blind hate i'm not saying don't address it because, I mean, obviously part of the time you just got to kind of ignore it. But to, at a certain extent, you got to just, you do have to just let it roll off. I know it's fucking hard, and I mean, it's hard for me, and I'm a 100 sub channel. This dude has 11 million subs. I guarantee you he has a lot more people that hate on him than there are people that hate on me. And that's, I understand that. But it's, it's a hard thing to do, but you need to learn to not let that get to you and make it like a point in your conversations you know like you can't make it a point to say oh well people hate on my videos that's gonna happen you put out a video that wasn't as good as the last video you put out people are gonna hate on it you put out a video that's on a game that people don't like or they say oh well you didn't do it fast enough that's on them it's you can't please everyone in your audience and that's why i took a break for a while is because i wasn't pleasing myself with the content i was putting out whether it was streams or videos i needed to take a break from just everything. I mean, I probably recorded three or four videos in the past two months, and I just probably won't upload them just because I'm not happy with the quality, and I just didn't want to record them. I just recorded to try and have something to eventually upload, and I just I wasn't happy. And Matt, I know with how big your with how big your channel is, and how you know how the system works, it's a pain in the ass to try to kind of come back after that. I mean. I'm at 120 subs, and I think when I stopped uploading in, fuck, December or January of last year, like daily, I I literally went from getting up to 100 subs to barely getting 20 subs within like a year. Between getting like 50 or 60 subs within two months. So it's, for me, it's hard as hell to come back from that. But especially with how big your name is, 
if you need to take a couple week break or even a month break to be able to figure out what kind of content you actually want to put out and make sure that the theories you put out you're happy with, that's going to be the biggest thing. Because people can tell when you're putting out content that you don't like. I've seen it myself. There's content I put out that I put out just to fucking meet a deadline. And people were able to tell. People would tell me whether it was in a live stream or they'd hit me up on Discord or anything like that or just talk to me and be like, yo, you like even my friends have been like, why did you upload that if you didn't want to or why did you sound so miserable? And it's just like, that happens. But don't force yourself to upload just because, oh, well, I have 11 million subs. Upload good quality content that you're happy with because if you don't, people will be able to tell. Now today you may have noticed that your sub box were hit with the old one-two punch of uploads. One, game theory, and one, this, Matt Pat talk time. I guess. This is one of the issues I had with this video when it came out, is because... I just don't think that how do I explain it? I think that it's an issue because bearing a video that you're saying is serious with another theory, especially with how the fucking YouTube system works with it being stupid as shit, some people might not have even seen this, especially with how YouTube fucks up sub boxes so what you need to do is space it out by at least even if you wait an hour instead of uploading them at the, like, the exact same time because if you want to upload a serious video and have it taken seriously don't hide it behind a theory you need to if you want us to take your video seriously you need to take it seriously and make it its own dedicated thing and put it at its own dedicated time instead of saying oh well People might hate on it, so let me throw out a theory as well, and it's like, dude, like, it's just, this is not how you make a response video to criticism and stuff like that. You need, if you, again, if you want us to take it seriously, you need to, as well. You can't just expect us to when you will. I guess you could call it. And that's because before you watch that episode of Game Theory, you really should watch this video. That episode is all about the Scott Cawthon fan art scandal. About he releases a teaser for his new FNAF VR game, but with one major issue. Two of the characters featured in that teaser weren't his original work. They were actually recolored, modified fan models that were so close to the original designs of the characters that the team working on this new game couldn't tell the difference. It was definitely a huge oopsie moment, and Scott did the right thing by pulling the teaser off the internet, but where that episode looks at all the weird legal wrinkles around that whole situation, I wanted to upload something else that looked at the human side of things. Because if there's one complaint that I always see in online threads about why this channel makes them so mad and why they hate me so much, it's that I steal fan art. And I've never really publicly addressed that. So, to so there you go, guys. That is what he thinks is the biggest issue. Now he goes on to talk about, which I might show a clip of or whatever of him, like, you know, explaining the whole process of that. Um, but this is what he thinks game theory's biggest issue is no it's not game theory's biggest issue and i saw someone comment it but game theory's biggest issue isn't oh well stealing fan art or whatever you know stuff like that yeah that's a problem but that you're working on fixing that which i give you kudos for now matt if you are watching this game theory's biggest issue is you now hear me out, I'm not saying that you yourself are the issue or that you shouldn't be hosting Game Theory or any of that. Your mannerisms and the way you respond to things is one of Game Theory's biggest issues. And that is what I'm making this video about. Because as soon as I heard this, when I was watching, I was like, I need to just respond to this because it's ridiculous. Like, how can you think that Game Theory's biggest issue is, oh, well, uh, we used fan art a couple times... Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, it's a problem, but there's so many bigger issues. Like, I, I don't even remember who it was. Someone else made a video responding to you a while ago, and then you responded to it on a stream, and it caused a bunch more hate to come your way. But it just... you Your biggest issues, if I had to describe two of them, it would be 
not being able to handle criticism without like crying and trying to garner pity and then the other one would be being blind to your own mistakes now you seem like you've gotten better at it over the past few months but my god dude my guy it is why like i understand you're a huge channel i'm probably gonna get a lot of dislikes on this video but like someone needs to say it I mean, I don't have a huge fan base that'll sit here and, you know, defend me or anything like that because I barely ever upload and I'm just now trying to start up again. But, my god, like, there's so many channels that are probably scared to even say anything about you just because it's Matt Pat, he's too big. And it's like, no. Nobody is too big to be criticized. Nobody is too popular or famous or too mainstream to be criticized and i'm not criticizing you because you're a big channel oh no views or whatever i'm criticizing you because i want you to make some amazing ass content like you used to because i know you can make some of the best content that there is on youtube and i've seen it and i know that you can do these kind of things i mean hell you're one of the first people to get a youtube red show that was actually decent <laughs> like you were one of the reasons why i had youtube red for a few months like, it was literally to watch your series. You are an amazing content creator, and you're a good person, Matt. And I know that. And you can do so much better than the content you put out. And I know everyone has, oh, worse videos, you know. Like, people go through droughts of not making as good a content, and that happens. But when your response to people criticizing you and saying, oh, you know, the quality's been a bit low, is to say that they're hating or to get all emotional or ignore them or just try and neglect their criticisms that's not healthy that's not how you grow as a channel that is not how you grow as a person if you want to grow as a person you want to be a role model for all of these people which it seems like you want to be you need to take it seriously and be able to handle criticism because criticism is one of the biggest things about youtube about anything and you need to be able to handle that because if you can't handle criticism, then one, some, one of these days, people are going to pick up on that, and you will, I mean, you're not going to lose your whole audience, don't get me wrong, but you will lose thousands and thousands and thousands of subs over it. And I'm, I don't want that to happen. I don't want you to lose, you know, motivation to upload. I don't want you to do any of that. I just want you to get better. I want you to be better. Because I know that you can be. And again, I doubt you're going to see this, Matt, but if you somehow do and you watch to this point, first of all, thank you for actually lasting this point and listening, because that in itself would be amazing. And second of all, please just know that I'm not saying this out of hate. And I'm not saying that to save my ass, because I don't give a fuck about saving my ass. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you know that. I'm saying this because I know you can do so much better. I know you can make some of the best content on YouTube, and I know you had that in you and I just want you to be able to do that and I want you to be able to consistently be amazing and I know consistently being amazing at making content is a pain in the ass but you can do this you just need to try hard enough and you can do this but I'm gonna end that here because again I don't want to ramble on for like 40 minutes but Again, Matt, if you saw this, thank you for taking the time to watch it and listen and all that. Um, anyone that came from Matt Pat's subscriber base, again, thank you for sticking by. And if you disagree with what I had to say, feel free to leave a dislike and leave a comment down below. Sorry, my dog is freaking out at the moment. Anyway. Um, but yeah, thank you for taking the time to watch this. And again... Don't just leave hate comments. That does nothing for anyone. I guarantee you Matt wouldn't want you to do that dumb shit. Leave criticism. Start a dialogue with me. Try and start a debate. Anything. Just talk to me. What did you dislike about the video? What did you disagree with me on? Did you agree, disagree, whatever? Let me know. Because that's what this is trying to do is open up a dialogue and hopefully somehow get Matt to see it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Um, not sure when this is going to go up. It'll probably be up either the 10th or the 12th. We'll just have to see. 
But um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for stopping by. Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out the Discord, my Twitter, all that kind of stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.